Hey, it's Al Anglo, A Plus Racing, with an exciting video about checking your charging system. So, the reason why I'm doing this video is I got a buddy on Facebook. I just got on this new club down there, and he's got a problem with his charging system. Christopher Fine, I believe his name is, says that uh, battery goes dead after he has the headlights on for a while while he's driving the car. That's crazy stuff. So, I guess it starts fine. If he doesn't use the headlights, you use the headlight, battery goes dead. So what I want to do is I want to show you what I use to check the charging system and teach you a little bit about charging systems, especially on a Miata. All right, so here I have the VAT40, and these have been around a long time. And uh, this is like the most sought-after piece of equipment when it comes to checking out charging systems. Um, they're pretty hard to find nowadays. I got a few of them here at the shop. And uh, like I said, everybody wants them because they, they really go into detail about what the charging system is doing. But before I do anything on a charging system, I always check to make sure that the battery's in good shape. So what I'm gonna do is I've got this hooked up to the battery. I saw that the battery is about a 370 cold crank amp battery. I'm gonna load test it the half of the cold cranking amps and see what the voltage does. The voltage should not drop below 9.5 volts. Now, as I see here on this voltage gauge, we have 12 volts, all right? So I've got this all set up. I'm gonna load it to 150 amps right there. And I see it's at 9.5 and slowly dropping. So normally we would do this test for 15 seconds. It was just dropping below 9 volts. This battery is not in the best of shape, but it's not real, real bad. Okay. So I know that the battery is good enough in this car to at least start it. And it's probably going to last a year or two. All right. So let's move on to the charging system test. So that was the battery test. So before I go into this test, I want you to know what I'm looking for. So what I'm looking for is I'm looking for voltage above static voltage. What is static voltage? Static voltage is voltage with the engine not running. So right now the car is not running and we have about 12 volts. Okay. So we're going to write that down, 12 volts. That's my static voltage. What I want to see is when the vehicle starts that the voltage goes up roughly 14.5. So anywhere between 13 and 15 volts is good. Anything more than 15 volts, that's overcharging the battery and it's really hard on the battery. Anything under 13 volts, it's not enough voltage and you could have a problem. Battery could go dead. So we need two things. We need voltage and we need amps. All right. So let's go ahead, write this down. We got 12 volts. We're going to start it up and then we're going to see what the voltage is doing. Now, if the voltage goes up, that tells me that the voltage regulator is working and that there's no problem with that. If the voltage does not go up, then that tells me there's a problem with the voltage regulator. Now, I think my buddy Christopher has an NA. An NA16 has an internal voltage regulator in the alternator. So if he has to replace the voltage regulator, you're pretty much just going to replace the whole alternator anyways, and it comes with the voltage regulator. On the NA18, it uses some of the computer to control the, um, the voltage regulator. So, and then on an NB, the voltage regulator is controlled by the computer. So if you got a problem with the voltage regulator on an NB, it's inside the computer. All right, so we're going to fire this up, and we're going to check to see what the voltage is that it puts out. And then I'm going to load the system up. Like, And then when I say load, I mean like we're like turning on the lights and or crankings where we're going to simulate that with this load knob like I did for the amperage. And we're going to see what the amperage does as far as that it goes up. So that's kind of the plan. All right. So I got I got my, my partner in the car. We got Mike filming. And I'm going to do this. All right. So we see 12 volts. Um, you're going to go ahead and start the car up and then kind of hold it steady around 2500 RPM. All right. Go ahead. Okay, so you can see we're at 14 volts, and that's where we should be. That's pretty good voltage, okay? So now we know that the voltage regulator is working since the vehicle went from 12 volts to 14 volts, right? Now, we want to see what kind of amperage is putting out. We're going to move this to the blue scale, the charging, so we're going to read the blue scale up here. So I'd like to see somewhere around 60 or more. All right, as you see here, it buried it out at 100. That's telling me that this alternator is putting out over 100 amps, okay? So it's probably like a 110 amp alternator, putting out over 100 amps. So 
that's good. That's plenty of amps to charge this car. If it only put out 20 or 30, if it only put out 20 or 30, then I would suspect a bad alternator. So the alternator is in charge of making the amperage. The voltage regulator is in charge of making the voltage. So in this case, we're golden, all right? This charging system is working. Now, on my buddy Christopher's car, I would be curious to find out if his charging system is working like this one. I think, two things I think. One, I suspect that we don't have enough amps to charge the battery. And when we turn on the lights and everything, it's a heavy load on it, and it just ends up draining the battery. I also think that it could be a ground problem. And more than likely, the ground that goes from... Uh, goes down to the little frame rail that goes on the transmission by the rear end. It could be that ground or it could be the ground on the driver's side where it goes from the back of the head to the frame. It could be one of those. All right. Hey, Christopher, I hope this helps you, buddy. And I hope this helps some of you other ones that are kind of curious about how the charging system works and how we test it. And this is how we do it. Don't forget, subscribe to A Plus Racing. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. I answer your guys' video. This question came up on Facebook, on the Spec Miata Club on there, or Miata Club, and I'm happy to do the videos for you. We're getting close to 1,000 uh, subscribers. I'm excited for that. I'll see you at the racetrack.